Hey everybody, Drew here, the bird tank. I've had a few people ask me uh, to do a little tour, so I thought I would. Normally during the day I'll leave the curtain closed like this and wrapped around it. It just cuts off a, a lot of the, ref the reflection in the interior of the room, uh, allowing them to even see less inside the room. You'll see later the reflective uh, film that I put on the glass once we go outside. Let me pull this curtain open. You see what we're working with. It's a 36 inch window, so I just cut a shelf, put some wooden sides on it, a glass front. It's a picture of a five sided box, if you will. And the front is glass. Here's a good side view. <laughs> I just made this from materials that I had. Um, except for the for the e for the eve cover outside. Anyway, so the lid comes off, and then uh, you can replenish all the food there. No need to come out. And um, I actually put Velcro on this because a squirrel jumped up here the other day. Uh, I don't want any surprises, so I Velcroed it. It is enough to keep it down. But anyways, once again, I had an eight by eighteen piece of glass. It was from a bathroom shelf. And um, so that's what I started. That's basically what I gauged my measurements. And it's a small room I have here, so it, it fits. Uh, this is my first one, my first prototype. I'll make others maybe bigger. I've got friends and relatives asking me to help them make one or actually make one for them. So I'll get busy with that. But yeah, it's insulated. It's just a blessing. But anyways, that's all from inside. Let's go outside. Well, here we are on the outside. Uh, once again, it's just a five-sided rectangular box. And the front is glass. There's the tent at work. So when the birds come in, hello. That's basically all they see uh, themselves. Very interesting to watch them look at the reflection and pause. And wonder, who is that? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I put up some branches for the larger birds to land on. They're they're uh, they're in need of that. I put some rocks here because a red belly woodpecker would come and just destroy and tap tap tap. He loves to crush seeds. If you saw that in one video, but here's the top I put on here. Nice awning for the snow and the rain. Uh, it's just a vinyl cover for some eaves. Got that at Home Depot, but it's in set in the window and it has a good uh, hangover. So just that little. Uh, awning if you will cover does great for all the wind and snow and rain even when the snow and the wind the rain was blowing it was super dry so yeah that's basically about it not a big deal super easy to make hope you enjoyed it thanks for coming to my channel the bird tank oh yeah by the way I got the bird tank because uh, I've been into keeping uh, saltwater fish and reefs my whole life I even had a store in Los Angeles and so when I thought of this concept, I was like, it's like a tank, except the whole world is the water, right? Can't beat that. That's one big fish tank, or in this case, bird tank. Happy birding. Thanks again.